Hi y'all, thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today, uh, we're gonna do a technique that I just became aware of actually this morning. I had a phone call from my sister wanting to know if I had heard of hot mess painting. Well, I'm a hot mess a lot of times uh, in the literal sense, but I thought we'd give it a try. So let me show you what that involves. So I get this call from my sister this morning uh, asking me if I'd gotten a, a message from her or her uh, an email link, and I had not, but what she was talking to me about is called hot mess painting. So I started looking around, investigating a little bit, and I thought, well, that's cool. Um, but I also thought, well, how in the world, you know, do you decide what painting to, I don't like, I didn't like the idea of all the waste out here. But this is a piece that um, didn't turn out. I was trying something and it didn't turn out quite like I wanted. So I've just kind of had it tucked away to do another pour on it. But you know, these colors are a little interesting in here. Um, so I thought we'd just give this a try and see about this uh, hot mess painting. Now I have cut this little um, unicorn uh, unicorn face out uh, with my Cricut. And so we're gonna see if we can stick it on here. Now I apologize that you're gonna be watching me upside down because I have a hard time picking out what's straight and not straight. So I will have to be very careful or I'll get it crooked. I'm so good at getting it crooked. I can't eyeball straight, I don't know why. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that down. Now, one of the videos I watched where the lady did it on uh, a canvas, she put something behind here to kind of keep it where she's not mashing down too hard. I don't have anything that'll fit right there. So I'm gonna use my hand to help burnish this down. I'm just gonna support the back of the canvas here with my hands. Now, what I have found, the pieces that I've done, and I've done some videos, when I have put vinyl on top of one of my paintings, I usually have resin down. So we'll see what happens here. So let's start, see if we can peel that back and hope everything stays where it's supposed to. Oh, so far so good. Sometimes you get down to these little bitty pieces and it gets a little iffy, iffy, iffy. Okay, hope the little eyelashes. So far, so far, so good. All right, well, fantastic. Now, I'm gonna save this because I like to reuse uh, huh, my transfer paper if that is at all possible, and that looks like it'll work fine. Okay, now here's the part that like I was going, oh no, uh, in the beginning, but we're going to do it because that's what it said to do. I'll move my, I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to put my, uh, this is just a little thumbtacks and I'm going to put them in. This is just to hold this up off of my surface so that I can paint the edges. I'm just gonna put, you know, basically at each corner, a little tack here. If I can get them in. Ow, that kinda hurts your fingers. Okay, let's see how well that sits. Okay, that sits pretty good. Uh, so have a little brush, I'm gonna have well, if I need water, I've got some water right here. Okay, here's what we do. So let's let's do this. Kind of makes me want to cry. But oops. Okay. We're going to paint over this entire surface. Now, 
if you were starting out from uh, not, uh, you know, not like I did with a, a canvas that I wasn't that crazy about or a pour that I wasn't that crazy about, uh, what you're going to need to do is paint. Uh, and, and, and we'll see how, I just want to see how this works. And then, you know, I'll be glad to do some more videos. But you're going to paint the back of it, you know, pretty psychedelic and wild and pretty color combos that you can come up with. And, um, but like I said, I had this one, wasn't in love with it. I actually kept thinking, you know, the colors in it would be good for a kid's room. And, um, uh, what better than a unicorn? Everybody wants to be a unicorn, or wants a unicorn. Now, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know, we didn't add anything to this is just the paint, just as is. Not, we're not mixing anything with this. I just want to make sure that I have really good coverage because that those were some pretty bright colors back there behind this. I like using foam brushes, but somehow Either I've hit them for myself or I've run out. Either could be the case. Okay, so now what we're gonna need to do is gonna have to let this dry. So we're gonna take a, take a little break here and we're going to let this dry and we'll be back to see how well it works. So I'll be right back. So this has been drying for a little while, uh, probably 30, 45 minutes. So let's see how this works, taking, taking this off without scratching up anything else. We're going to see how it works, if it works. I almost had it. Uh-oh. No, nope. I thought it was pulling my paint off, but it didn't. So that's a good thing. That's a very, very good thing. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I've got some little wet spots there, but I can touch those up at some point here later. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to dig too deep to uh, dig down into my canvas or to scratch off your my paint. Just trying to gently grab the vinyl. Let's see if we can get this ear here. You could use any color background, you know, that you desire, as long as your base colors of what you put down on your canvas, you know, are gonna show up good with it.
The interesting thing that I'm seeing here is you can, I was wondering how that would work, but you can, oh, wait, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You can actually see where the edges of your vinyl, that's, that was one of the things I was like, well, how are you gonna see that? But you actually can. I don't know if you can see it so much on the video, but you can see the little outlines of where your vinyl is to be able to find it. Get one little edge up, then you can get it up pretty easily. But like I said, you don't want to poke down through your canvas, so you can't, uh, you know, when you're when you're doing your weeding normally, and you can be pretty aggressive with it. I would say, don't be so aggressive with it, or you'll poke through the vinyl. going. Looks like now we just have our little eyelashes here. Okay, folks, there you have it. My first uh, hot mess painting. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Like I said, this was a piece that I wasn't that crazy about, and we just turned it into something completely different. So uh, we'll, we'll try it uh, next time doing, a, well, maybe, you, you know, creating some colors that I actually wanted instead of one you know, but this works too for, in my case, because I salvaged a piece that, like I said, I did not like. But this is hot mess painting, uh, y'all, and that, this is my, my first go at it, so there you have it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on hot mess painting. I think it's a pretty cool technique. I want to do some more videos uh, in upcoming near future and try some different things. Um, I think it's got a really cool concept of uh, what you can do. Um, so I think it came out pretty cool. Uh, you know, you always have afterthoughts of what you should have, could have, wish you would have done. Anyway, whatever you do, make it yours, make it personal, and you can do it. Hey guys, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thanks.